Today I'll show you how to install Truckers MP for Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator. First you visit truckersmp.com. Then you select register and sign in through Steam. On the now loaded Steam page you enter your Steam username with the password, which requires Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator buy it on the Steam account. If you bought the CD version, just enter the CD key on Steam as I did. When you've entered your username and your password, you select sign in. Now you will be forwarded to truckersmp.com, where you may log in after the registration process by selecting the login button. There you enter your email and your password and select login. When you're logged in, you select download. There you select the green download text which will download a zip file that you can open with your Windows Explorer. You can just execute the exe file. Allow the installation by clicking on yes at the administration request. At the installation wizard you select next, I accept the agreement and next. Now you enter your place where Truckers MP should be installed. I recommend to leave it as it is. After selecting yes you can choose if you want to install Truckers MP for Euro Truck Simulator 2, American Truck Simulator for both. Afterwards select yes and enter your Euro Truck Simulator Tour American Truck Simulator directory. Normally it is C program files x86 backslash steam, backslash steam apps, backslash common, backslash Euro Truck Simulator Tour American Truck Simulator. If you have a second hard disk it could be that your Steam games are installed elsewhere. Go to your Steam library, right-click Euro Truck Simulator Tour American Truck Simulator and search for the place of installation. When done, you can select next twice, say whether you want a desktop icon or not and say install. After the installation is done, you may start Truckers MP on your desktop or from your task list. To log in, use the Truckers MP credentials. If you don't have a US or UK keyboard, then you have to copy the HR from somewhere for the email. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and comment below. Subscribe to stay tuned. This voice was spoken by IBM Watson.